His, he completed his postdoctorate research from Rutgers University, USA. Presently, Sir is the senior principal scientist and head in the agro technology and rural development division at CSIR East Jurhat. He has been working on broad areas, including insect phase of economic crops, insect biodiversity with reference to butterflies, apiculture, bioprospection of medicinal and aromatic plants, and herbal medicines. He also worked in understanding impact of pollution on butterflies. He made case study and established how a man-made ecosystem may be an ideal habitat for conservation of birds and butterflies. He has published several scientific papers in national and international journals and developed 11 number of technologies which are transferred to 24 parties across the country, earning revenues and providing employment opportunity for thousands of youths. Dr. Bhuya has been engaged in science popularization activities and published hundreds of articles, delivered lectures, radio talks on popular science and edited 13 numbers of popular science books and magazines. He is the author of two books on popular science. He received CSIR Technology Award in Life Science 2013. He has been elected as the Fellow of Royal Entomology Society London in 2018 and Fellow of the National Academy of Sciences India in 2021. Sir, we are honored to have you here. Now, I would like to hand over the session to our chairperson, ma'am. <laughs> For the speech and five minutes for the questions. Hello, Mr. Sir, Madam. Dr. Paul, Dr. Santiwa, Dr. Tenka, Dr. Naruto, and all the faculties. Uh, Organizers of this first international conference of advances in sciences. Um, students present offline and online. 
so I uh, like to discuss about some of the topic, important topic that is uh, currently come out in the last few years. Uh, because all we know about the impact of human network, particularly for the last uh, two centuries, we see, although this impact has been started since the discovery of agricultural science, which is around 12,000 years ago. But uh, uh, the impact is much more visible. Uh, in last uh, two, three decades, and now scientists are looking whether we can come back with our originality or not. And insect is one of the important uh, component in our biodiversity. All we know that because we grow, whether uh, we live in trees or it's, if we grow with insects uh, from our childhood, and we know uh, insect very well. Uh, many of us uh, play with insects. That's why uh, it is very important now that this important precious biodiversity, when it uh, are in danger, then uh, the approach of conservation uh, probably need to be revisited again. So, in this perspective, you see, you see this crisis of insect decline. Uh, there, uh, there are Causes and consequences, it seems to be important. And if we know all these insects, if you are bark, you are these are most precious, very beautiful. Some are, of course, old looking. And among these insects, if you see only a very, very few proportion of the species are uh, harmful for the human. And most of 9.9% of insect species are good friend of human. That means it's helpful to human as well as helpful to the environment. So uh, they are very precious, very unique in its size, shape, their behavior, their lifestyle. And uh, I often mention them as the building block of uh, ecosystem because they are the a pioneer or uh, uh, they are the a uh, uh, living unit, prime unit for running an ecosystem. Um, probably you know this very really famous picture because uh, if we see the art from the space, how it is look like, it was not possible uh, until, say, 19. Around 60s. Now we have thousands of photographs of art from the space. But these two photographs are very important. We see the art. You see here, this is the one of the first photographs which was taken by Apollo 8 in 1968. This is called Art Rising uh, from the space orbit of Moon. Art Rising. And this is called, this photograph is called Blue Marble. And it was uh, taken uh, by Apollo 17 in uh, 1972. The peculiarity of these two pictures is that uh, the outlook of art completely sense after seeing these two pictures. Because earlier we did not know how art is like from the space. You see here, this uh, visibility of art is the backside is completely the black sky. And there will be some star which cannot be visible. So in the, uh, this black sky, this blue art is the only planet which looks blue and others are of different color was rotating. Of course, this is a still photograph. But uh, it is quite dissimilar with the other object that is visible in the art. And this dissimilarity is the unique because in our world's life. Till now, no such type of art has been so hard discovered in their areas. So when uh, people see this photograph, then uh, scientists were really excited because this is our unique home. This is the only home we have. So whatever we do, it will help 
hurtful or harmful to this world. So we don't have other space to live in now. Only the art is the only space for human. But along with human, we have several species, and all these species are evolved, say, uh, many years in this art. So age of the art is around 4.6 billion years, and the life past life uh, came around 3.8 billion years. So in this long history, we see the insect it uh, came around 479 million years so far, the recent formation support, whatever fossil record we have received. Uh, interestingly, the age of Homo sapiens is only three lakh years. So you just compare this uh, uh, age of human as well as age of it. So we are quite new introduction to this art, and insects are much more. Uh, ahead of us in terms of say emergence in the heart. After that they evolved then in the time of evolution they established themselves as one of the very successful uh, organisms. So if we see the diversity, this is very unique because uh, um, the see the diversity of homo species. Uh, now only we have uh, we are one species, Homo sapiens. But if you go back, the uh, thirty years ago we have another species like Homo neanderthal. Then if we go sixty thousand years ago, we have another species like Homo erectus. So we have one several species like Homo denisovan, Homo erectus, Homo neanderthal. Several species we have together. And all you know, probably scientists now uh, receive a lot of evidence that at some point of time they are uh, we cross with Homo neanderthal and Homo sapiens. But in the time if we see, entire Homo species eradicated from the earth and only Homo sapiens. So there are a lot of factors are here. And, uh, but the, if we see the other species also, uh, there is a, the, uh, a limitation in their uh, number. Say, for example, the bird diversity. In the entire world, there is only approximately 9,000 species. If we see the butterfly diversity, uh, there is around 20,000 species. But let us see the arthropod diversity. Arthropod is joint leg. So, this is the diversity you can see. Crustaceans like crab, so they have around his decent estimate around uh, 50,000, 57,000 species. Uh, then uh, media quota, media quota is around 12,000 species, centipede, millipede, all these organisms. Teletherata, which is around 1 lakh 12,000 species. This is belongs to like spiders, mite, or hexapoda, insects. They have the highest number of species, it's around uh, 10 lakh 24,000 species out of around 18 lakh species so far reported in the science. So, more than half of the species are insane. That's why they are called one of the very successful uh, organisms in the history of evolution. But among the insects also, if you see this, among this 10 lakh 24,000 species, the kill alone contribute 3 lakh 87,000 species, the highest species from Polish area. Because we know like uh, dung beetle and all these so um, one from rhinoceros so, yeah. and the three lakh eighty seven thousand species in then lepidoptera which compose of butterflies and more they have one lakh fifty seven thousand species second highest species followed by uh, one lakh fifty five thousand species the diptera fly followed by hymenoptera like was bees. 4,000 species, followed by Orthoptera, 24,000 species, like that way. That this species diversity is enormous. And if you see this, uh, this uh, species diversity, then you see that they are quite accustomed. Different species have different species. They are accustomed with different ecosystems. So they have uh, different specialized, uh, say, uh, ecosystem. Live on that means they are quite diversified, and this diversification is really the uh, outcome of their success. 
So this is so far described species I have mentioned, but if you see how much species is yet to be described, because many species are yet to be described, for example, fungi, there are a lot of fungi, a lot of bacterial species yet to be imported uh, to the science. Like that way, insects also, many species yet to be discovered, and as per the recent estimate, because uh, earlier there are several estimates that have been done on some assumptions, like three floor species, five floor species of insects has to be uh, available to be available in the art, but recent estimates, some some scientific background, they concluded that we have around 70 lakh of art for species that can be certain. 70 lakh. Out of that, 55 lakhs are insect and 15 lakhs alone are deep. So you can see now that means out of 55 lakh, that is, uh, we have the species that are still only we have discovered 10 lakh 20 species. That means this is a huge gap. So this gap is around 40 percent species so far described to be insect, and another 80 percent. Uh, species we get to discover. Uh, sorry, there are the 60 percent species we have to The importance, all we know very briefly, if you see, is there an insect we know? This is one of the important pollinator for most of the plant. Then they distribute the nutrient in the earth, that is, nutrient cycling, they help. Uh, they uh, uh, sense the soil structure and texture. Also, they uh, spray the seeds of the plant from, the, uh, um, from different places, and also they are the food in different trophic levels of the ecosystem, like bird or the frog or snake. So, this composed uh, very unique uh, things, characters uh, of insects. So, they have provided ecological services in every way. These are some of the countable services, uh, uncountable, there are many. But the economy, if you see, we get a lot of things from insects like body, leg, uh, silk, say, then uh, for biological control in agriculture, parasitoid and predators, which are important component, and also uh, in medicine. Many insects are used for even medicine, like, uh, like your uh, house fly larva, is helpful to use for only or be therapy. Only they are used. But uh, this insect, of course, was there, and all we uh, are seeing the insect, but probably uh, we lost the continuation of the insect observation. We see, because in the art, uh, many species uh, have been reported for the last few years that it is easy. Uh, for example, rhino, for all we know, Kaziluma is one of the toxic species. So all our conservation. Uh, uh, measures are focused on rhino, like that with tiger, elephant, because these are a tech six species we know that. So, our daily conservation, uh, all the measures are focused on those uh, macro fauna. But what about the micro fauna, for example, like insect? So, uh, interestingly, it was although reported in some very discontinued. Sporadic study about the declining of insect, but it does not make mass awareness to the people. Interestingly, in 2017, there are one publication came uh, from Germany because uh, one group of scientists uh, surveyed uh, 63 lesser reserves scattered in the western Germany. Basically. And this study was why it was so important because it was uh, they have the previous data of uh, insect available, insect abundance, and they around 89 data because they were continuously observing from 1989 onwards, and they found that in 2014 to Melissa trap actually they trapped the insect, and they found that the total weight of the collected insect is drastically reduced. So they analyzed them because all the data they have for last 26 years that they have. So they analyzed in the same site uh, what was the actually the way differences. Then they found that almost 75 to 76 percent of the wave declined from 1989 to 
2014. That means that they have been saved. Those that uh, they analyze, analysis in a big way and they found that actually insect mass decreased, total insect theft insect mass decreased around 75 to 76 percent for last 26 years in the Germany forest. Then they make the publication, and uh, although this was a scientific publication, uh, they uh, some reporter made some popular story on that findings, and it was published in New York Times, uh, probably uh, 18, 18 November 2018, like uh, a full like that. And it was a big news because New York Times, you know, it is one of the very popular uh, newspaper, uh, more than one crore of direct subscribers are there. So after that publication, it actually made the difficulty that their work uh, all not only scientists, all the scientists, that many of the people. That means something is going on. This is why is it just declining? After that, many studies have been conducted in different parts of the world, and visibility comes. And it was found that to tell somebody is that everywhere, not only the West Germany, in the United States, in Europe, several such incidents happen. But India, if you see, it may not be so much detectable. Our problem is that we don't have sufficient past data. That means 1970, what species are here in Sipsagor district or in Gorga, we don't have that data. But Western countries, they are uh, very much uh, peculiar in that case, they have all the data. So they can compare it. For comparison, you need some previous data. That's why uh, in third world countries like Africa, or India or other part of Southeast Asia, those type of findings cannot come directly. But in Western countries, they are good in documentation. So several such uh, studies uh, it, it came out and it was found that yes, it is not the only case of uh, their money. In this case, so in this case is uh, quite uh, prevalent in a big way. And they also found that although it was not important from Africa or India, but if we see here some data, then uh, alarming way because Africa is a tropical country. Germany is a uh, temperate country. If Germany happened, then you can imagine the tropical country what may happen because this is diversity is much more. So, uh, for example, this is another study done in Kotimu, this Puterican uh, race course. Puterican is actually one Caribbean country. So, what it did is that falsely list uh, one of the scientists. During 1976 and 77, he pulled the insect abundance using sweep net and sticky crab in a particular forest area. In the same forest area, in 2011 and 2013, he used the same crab to see the insect abundance, and he found that 75 to 88 percent insect decline. So, this is another alarming study. And for sticky step, when it was studied in, in the same site in 1976 and 2011, he found that 97 to 98 percent population. So he actually, when he compared his weight also, in 1977, he found the per day around 470 milligrams of alcohol in terms of weight. But in January 2013, in the same spot, he got only 80 milligrams. So it was very alarming. That is a lot of evidence. Uh, come out with uh, all evidence tell us that insects are declining in a large way. So, around 40 percent insect, as scientists assume, that now under the powers of extinction. But this uh, decline is not only uh, this abundance, also in diversity, in all way. And all we know that three fourths of our agricultural crops are pollinated by insects. If there is no insect, there will be poor production. Then, um, interestingly, all we know about Russell Sarson's book, Science and Spin, which came out in 1992, and uh, subsequently, GDP has been banned in many countries. Uh, it started from the United States in 1972, uh, and uh, 1976, almost most of the country. Then, but now, if we see the last 25 years, the number of pesticide applications is down. Because they assume a lot of factors may be uh, responsible for that. Then butterflies, the butterfly, which have a multiple type of cosplay, polyphagus. 
45, 46% is decreased, but the species for him, uh, butterfly, which have only monopegas or only with the pegas, they have decreased 77%. So, uh, interestingly, uh, for body sample collected from different parts of the world, you see the pesticide residue, and it was found that almost 75% of the body sample, they bought new nicotinoid in an alarming grain. This particular pesticide, I care about, this one, that one. So, this is the disease, that the pesticide that they have been applied to the body sample, they have found that they have been applied to the body sample, and they have been applied to the body sample, and they have been applied to the body sample. So 40 percent decline and 80 percent unrestricted species. So we don't know whether these unrestricted species are already lost or not. So this is the case presently. And if you quantify the contribution in terms of money, then you take the uh, give the uh, uh, R is around 25 to 577 billion. So then what is the cause actually? In many scientists. I think that it is almost simple that uh, Rhino is disappearing, that the uh, elephant is decreasing, that uh, say uh, different animals, different plants are decreasing. So, this is, uh, you see, all we know that this is geological age. Uh, this is Paleocene to Holocene. Actually, Holocene is still going on, which was started around 11,700 years ago. Still, we are in Holocene epoch as far as geological time is concerned. But interestingly, uh, there is another term, anthropo, uh, Anthropocene. Anthropocene actually is coined by other scientists, but it was first popularized by Paul Kasten, who got the prize in 1995 or the by Oscar Chemist. In 2000, he popularized the term Anthropocene, which indicates the age of human. And actually, as far as the definition is concerned, this aid is uh, proposed to start from the industrial revolution, that is around from 18th century. And in this year, in this age, actually, most of the environment uh, indicative activity is actually in operation, and most of the species are uh, in other instead. So, we did in this respect some uh, investigation in our laboratory. I'll just briefly give you some of the information. So, for example, all we know that carbon dioxide is one of the important greenhouse gases. They can take it, take it, more than carbon monoxide, the dioxide, and many other greenhouses. So, uh, carbon dioxide concentration is increasing. All we know that the during industrial uh, period or pre industrial period, almost 6,000 years, it was pulled around 200. Or 250 PM. But after the industrial revolution, it was statistically, and now we can see uh, 412 PM in the KY postcard. So it is usually increasing. And after increasing that, certainly, uh, always know that the empire is also increasing. Now, we, what we did, this is one from industrial area of gas, gas carrying site of Wendy's. We know him because we did this study in our area. So gas carrying site, and this 24 hours it is burning, right? Uh, so uh, there is the actually uh, production of carbon dioxide all the time. And carbon dioxide, we make some a zone to see the concentration gradient of carbon dioxide. And we found that uh, it extends from 750 pm at the cold zone and uh, smoothly spread to the buffer zone to be a normal. Or so. so, in this respect, why we have done, we did some simulation study. That means in open top sample, we increase the concentration of carbon dioxide artificially. And we grow here some plant. Uh, we give the butterflies to see the interaction of them and also the individual what we sense. And we found that to see uh, larger duration of butterfly. You see, this is 500 in OTC. That means artificially created carbon dioxide concentration in our open top sample. This is control, normal, normal, yeah, around 400 ppm. And this is OTC, around 500 ppm of carbon dioxide. And this is 650 ppm of carbon dioxide. Now, the larval division of butterfly, you may have a cabin, here is one of the butterflies, this yellow color, small. 
So it is decreasing. So this decrease is actually due to the increase of temperature because we increasing the carbon dioxide concentration in the OTC inside the same world, the temperature will be more. When there will be more temperature, the butterfly life cycle will be short because butterfly or insects are coagulotermic elements. That means they cannot uh, emit the heat like us. They are endothermic. They are endothermic. So they have to depend solely on your external temperature to grow. So that's why due to increase of temperature, the larvae uh, life cycle is decrease. But the problem is that uh, when there will be increase of temperature, because this type of study has already done in many parts of the world, and you see here that this is the host plant. Host plant nitrogen concentration is drastically reduced in higher carbon dioxide concentration. Carbon is increased. For example, most of the insects, they rely on nitrogen for protein. And because this is the only source, and if the concentration of nitrogen decrease in, in uh, elevated carbon dioxide concentration area in a host plant, then what happens? For the same pool of nitrogen, they have to spend more time for feeding to get the required nitrogen in their diet. That's why this is every uh, one fifty one because one like, due to increase of temperature, their uh, larval division is decreased. But due to decrease of nitrogen concentration in the uh, host plant, they have to spend need to spend more time to feed the same amount of nitrogen they required in their life cycle. So this actually contradiction. Uh, what effect that you say mortality will be increased? Then, yes, uh, we see uh, in different carbon dioxide concentration, a relative consumption rate of the insect, uh, efficiency of conversion of digested food, then approximate digestibility, and relative growth rate. You see the relative growth rate is drastically reduced. Whatever they feed, but their growth is stunted. So, it shows that in elevated carbon dioxide, which is now we are testing 412 ppm. With very more 500 ppm in another decade. So, in that case, the insect, not only human, other organisms also, but insect will also have problems. Probably, this is one of the cause that already mentioned in different effects. So, in first plan, what happened? So, if it is more carbon dioxide is here in the plant, if it is in our vegetables, say if we take broccoli or cabbage, whatever we take, then chili, what happened? If carbon dioxide concentration is more in our area, then the leaf will contain less nitrogen. Then insect, if it is an insect host plant, the larval development will be less, the physiological disorder will be there. Then in the plant itself, the nectar and flower, nectar will have less sugar, less amino acid. That means it will be uh, uh, say less nutritious for the insect. And if we think about ourselves, it will be less nutritious for uh, human nature. So it will help, like it will actually uh, impact on longevity, technology, egg production, egg distribution. And this is another study we have conducted, a uh, very interesting study, that in polluted area, how the polluted, particularly this cadmium, lead and nickel, we uh, consider, how they uh, uh, flow in the entire food chain from the soil to plant to insect. So we found that ultimately the end particularly if we think about insect, then they accumulate sufficient number, sufficient quantity of this uh, toxic material because they are in higher profit level like human and ultimately their entire life cycle uh, is abnormal. So this is another study we did, how actually the elevated temperature helped to um, migrate the insect from lower altitude to higher altitude uh, due to increased temperature. So this is the increase of the temperature, uh, you can see uh, at Jorhat uh, last uh, many years, uh, from 1995 to 2010. Come on, see. So, um, uh, so insects are now reducing all we know. But what happens? Say, for example, one physical thing is coming on about 
because most of the bars are in city bars. And they are also declining. Some example that uh, any in city bars bar in North America, they fell down to 40% in 1966 to 2013. Within this video. In UK, also some say bar like spotted like XR who uh, only eat on insect, uh, they fell by 93% between 67 to 2016 because the insects are decreasing because this is the only protein source. Then, if you see uh, where the insect will be abundant, say this swim season particularly, most of the bar go for egg laying because for egg laying, the protein is very important for them. And insect is the only protein source. And all we know that many insects, even up to 45%, they have the insect uh, protein in itself. But most uh, alarming uh, results they can come in North America. So, because they have their past data, uh, in four years back, maybe 2018 or 19, some interesting uh, observation come that last 50 years, uh, they studied it from 1970, 1970 to 2020, the bird population of North America. And they found that 2.9 billion bird, 1 billion is a symbolic uh, how much will be? 1,400%. So, 1 lakh crore. So, uh, 2.9 billion bird in this year, in last 50 years. Bird means not species scientific, abundance, total population. So this is a very alarming study, and this shows that there is something is going on. And when minutely it was observed that insect declining is one of the cause because this is the protein source for most of the part. So I uh, see mass extinction already uh, in particular biologists which we know about the mass extinction. So five mass extinction has already occurred. Now scientists are. Earlier, it was thinking that we are going to face six mass extinction. But many scientists claim that as insects are one of the key uh, to the ecosystem, and a lot of evidence are coming out that they are declining significantly. So we are already exposed to six mass extinction. And you could see why how we can identify it, we'll say it is uh, mass extinction, whether it's fair or not. Because in extinction, if we see the Background extinction, basically, in general, normal, uh, 0.1 to 1 species extinction per 10,000 species per 100 years in normal cases. It's called background extinction rate, which is almost 0.1 to 1 species extinction per million species per year. But if we see the present state, it is decreasing rapidly. Well, every day, we are losing the species. We are going on with the sky effect. And Interesting thing is that all the five mass extinction was actually the natural phenomenon, but this is the anthropogenic factor. It is used by only one species. So, this is a really alarming uh, scenario. And several factors are here, just we want to put it in And so, uh, in 2018, in the Darwani International Symposium on Insect Conservation, they have promoted some plan. For the federal government of Germany, how you can conserve the insect. I mentioned just one proof. The pesticide application we should do. And when we limit the pesticide application, like what they this is very unconventional. What we have written is very interesting. So generally, uh, we always uh, say what we pesticide research if someone is informed, we generally generate data on healthy detailed dose with low pesticide to understand the efficacy. And this is the main data which is required for the pesticide. But they uh, suggested that no, LDP is not a sufficient information. So if you want to research the pesticide, new pesticide or insecticide, uh, try to understand their uh, collateral damage. That means what damage they will uh, 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 they will actually uh, take in other species like parasite or predators or human. Um, that type of data you have to give. The people and whatever subsidy government is giving to the agriculture uh, division, it should be reduced, it should be promoted only the organic one, like that way. And uh, they have mentioned this one, and some pesticide, toxic pesticide, like 
new nicotinoid. Uh, this is a very toxic to the polynatural. It should be restricted. It should be already, uh, it is already banned in several European countries. So, in many countries, also, it is now regulation is going on about this thing. Then, extensive addiction of farming. That means uh, we are, our farming is basically intensive farming. Basically, monoculture. Can we diversify the farming? So, how we can diversify? By incorporating different crops together, by keeping some sort of wheat, base plant, all these things. So, extensive because of farming is important. Grassland, we have to restore the grassland. Bard already is recommended that we have to restore the grassland. For integral, so it is important. And uh, they also uh, uh, suggested another thing 10, uh, 10 is to 10 rule. 10 is to 10 rule means when you mow the grass, uh, at least 10 percent of the area should be unmowed, and the grass should be mowed uh, at least 10 centimeter long so that it can survive here. And there should not have any uh, forest fire also. Like that way, uh, conservation areas should be increased. A necessary public places, research is very important, public uh, uh, awareness is very important, why pollinator we have to protect, and lighting is another important factor because uh, now everywhere uh, we are able to keep light, home light 24 hours. So, can we reduce it? Really detrimental for nocturnal insects as well as diurnal insects also because it impacts on the circadian rhythm. Then, uh, very recently, just last week, uh, uh, when the report is coming, that they have uh, they have summarized the causes of insect life, and because from that, lab use intensity. So all we wanted, because all the normal lab now is filled up for human settlement or agriculture, there is no any wetland left. So, even if this land inflation is not by important factor. Climate sense already know its impact already on the other organisms, so in different sort of things and invasive species. So, climate sense like temperature, seasonal alteration, habitat loss, season has already altered. You know, now, agriculture also, they are going to recommend the crops in, uh, because it's shifted. If you are going earlier, uh, we, we, we grow crop in April, but maybe now we have to grow in March, first thing on the end. Then habitat loss, broad precipitation, extreme broad precipitation, extreme event, and then these, these are the mental factors. And pesticide, of course, is one of the important factors. Neonicotinoid with the criminal genital pollinator. We have to reduce tell that there are 7,000 more toxins than the DC in case of pollinator like this. Lycosate, which is extremely ground up, only hard about the weed type. So, lycosate so is the product of buyer. So that pesticide is now in Assam also, particularly tea garden there is in assembly and in our household also many people use for pesticide. So those have a lot of negative okay. And this is the last slide. And this is important thing that now if you see the not only insect, as I told you, plant, fauna, and different fauna is different. So how we can recover it? By releasing that already, a new concept is coming, and both from India is focusing on that. Uh, one planet, one head. And this is, you can say, the planetary head. That means health of the planet, not only health of the human. If uh, health of the human should win, then health of the other surroundings need to be also win. So the definition is. Very interesting, health of human civilization and the state of the national system on which it depends. So, human, if you see, it depends on all the factors that are available in the earth. So, we have to be able on both national factors also. And already they have identified uh, five planetary boundaries, nine planetary boundaries. And according to them, we should not cross the, these boundaries. Actually, for our survival, for the survival of the planet, I say, I say, the climate and mobility, atmospheric so atmospheric is wonderful. So, all the people are fighting the people, the people, the people, the people, the people, the So, these nine boundaries is very important. So, whatever plan or policy we hear that, government level, at higher level, and even household level. We 
about those um, hectare that's why it's extremely important that we can for sustainable living, sustainable life. So the realization is really important. And when we go about United Nations uh, sustainable goal, so if we can award all that goal grassroots level, because this intake is not that only police can do. Police can regulate some of the things, but actually exhibition and exhibition is by us only. So it is not for the big scientists or policy maker, it is then for the real public. So if we really that we, we can survive for the otherwise we great problem to survive. Uh, because uh, for the hard question, this report this position is highly uh, of this time, if the biggest CPR of the case of the art, men who only have four years left. So this is a really two cents. So we have to realize for the betterment of this art as so in the slide about the blue marble for art If you really want to see this art, we have to uh, see Thank you, Dr. Bunya, for your excellent talk. I would, rather, would like to say it is an awareness, awareness program that is for us because we are the only bad animal in the planet who destroy the planet. So it's an awareness. He, he has presented so many scary data. We should take care of our planet and we should be aware of the fact we have presented. Except the mosquito, all the insects we deserve. Because we went every year, or in the one environment, they protect us. That works for a few months after they forget everything. So it is upon us who can. Preserve the heart or preserve the insect. Now, may I request anyone to have questions because it is an invited talk, so the questions should be limited and already we are delayed by half an hour. An excellent talk. Uh, basically, I am a student student. My question is not a question exactly. I just like I like to draw the dichotomy of our scientists or our research. In one hand, we are talking about preservation of these insects and its significance in preserving the environment, ecology, and even our human life. At the same time, the chemistry and other uh, science uh, disciplines they are discovering new new pesticides, trying to kill the insects, you know, to harm the environment, and they are also claiming at the same time. But they are even this chemistry and other things. People always receive Nobel, Nobel prizes. That's a dichotomy. But I think uh, people are confused. Yeah, you know, to our children. So I think it's a very serious issue. I don't know how to deal with it. Thank you. Open scientist, a professor. And at that time, many soldiers die only from Australia and different countries. At that time, you know, And so, all the soldiers were taken on fighting from this actually on the side, side 
direct from Christian to non Christian. Only Christian to non Christian. It's not clear by the hour. And at that time, it was completed at use in Kenya and Japan. But the like, United States cannot be from Japan. So, mm -hmm. it's so it is only when the Kenya shows. And what they do, because it has a tremendous lockdown effect that uh, pile come. But one problem is that when it comes in contact with the AI or sunlight, it will be picked up. Maybe one hour or two hours instead of the people. So, when he was discovered, he was surprised to her. In 1939, it was discovered with the money. Then the news paid the in the United States by the end of the year. And Right. And how actually be from a legal side, you bring point up to the water and uh, from to the peaks, then to the bar and the bar A, uh, what has all this uh, flow of the chemicals, you know, distance they rely on the book that they are in book. And after that, after publishing the book in 1962, so it was victimized. You put a lobby doctor This is a identical lobby kill now. So uh, uh, it was a very technique for her, but uh, a lot of economists who realized this one and he made a good job against the business. For which we see like country like America has to ban the United States. And in 1970, most of the European countries so. So in India also it was banned by the US but for experimental only limited people. Sorry. So this is this was not realized when it was discovered, but at that time the need was to protect the human from people, or protect the agriculture from uh, insects. Then after that, the organophosphate came, it was the organophosphate, the organophosphate, the dynamic, the different insects are coming, and all are telling that it is not better than this. The only particular, I can cite you my own example. The only particular, when we are studying at the university level, we are told by our professor that this is a very fascinating interest. He is that because we need a very low dose. Very low dose, it will be most of the research. It is very good. So that's why it is promoted because it takes uh, against the bulk dose of the people. But when it was realized about the only purpose, so, this is a video of science. Yes, we did some wrong thing, but we are not uh, stick to that wrong decision. We realize that it was wrong. Say, for example, now we need to make this set about this green uh, revolution, like this, like this. Right? But it was the need of the hour. Yes, we destroy our soil, we destroy our environment with the green revolution. But uh, you have to see the condition that the place was now they're getting all the same service and we're getting a food security. So now the concept is something sensitive. But at that time, I think the entity that they keep telling us conservation was limited. No one realized that we need to store this environment, we need to store that with art. But now this anthropogenic activity is easy. And uh, I gave one to the anthropogenic term and they told you. 
And then two times we will explain by uh, Professor Ivo Wilson, the very interesting Mr. Eremos. And we are part that we are actually in the Eremos. The Eremos is the age of lonely years. We are alone actually. In, we would like to uh, uh, say differentiate from the next time. We like to be away from the other end. Then, uh, other like then we live in also now. They live in the psychology. Not as right? They are going to be perhaps more, more, more nuclear. Two more things. I sometimes say two are getting familiar. Two. Now we are getting a very, very, uh, you can say, uh, uh, isolated compound to fortify food. So, like that, basically, it is now like a straight like a But yes, we have realized our wrong position. And to rectify that, pesticide targeting will be the of the hour, it will be required. But that is specific, not broad spectrum, separate to the other organism. That's why it was a goal that political parties or political elements has to be a target. So, those type of pesticides which are safe to other organisms, only toxic to the target organisms, which are not broad spectrum. Which has a good uh, ecological targets, like that way we can go with it. And that's why we say so that scientists can make those type of chemicals. In Australia, I have to go back. I think that we are talking about. And thinking about the alternative, like this uh, medicine, indicated this medicine, uh, I came to know that in certain countries, they have managed to test. So, some specific test can be a lot of different things, like management, uh, so, is there any? I, I want to know if in our India or internationally there are this in this way. But I also confirm that in the country, the country, the the country, the the country, the 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 is there any research in our area or in our country regarding this management of care? Management of care. But the problem is that I believe that certain that we have ways also how to manage our daily living. But I think it will be different. For example, I have seen my colleague at water, they have maybe about 100 square meter area or some beautiful garden also. We come out to the middle of the week, right? They use glyphosate. We decide. So we have to define how we how we will be using the right term, pesticide or insecticide. This is basically the industrialized agricultural science. So, this is the input for industrialized agricultural science. If you go to USA, like the garden, they have 1000 hectares of land for one farmer. And they don't have land for one, they use only the seed. From plowing to harvesting, the only lesson, only one way. So, if there is an insect that is going on there, because it is a highly homotox, only one problem, because you want to have a better one. And there is an insect that one man can, can they protect it, it is not possible for them to go into the industry. So, they use very good career craft just to stay at the place. Like that, like I said, to remove the weed, they use the brown cup, like I said, that in Assam it is, in Kerikus, how much land we have? Tiliga, Poliga, Maximum Tiliga, we have land. At our household, maybe we have one Tiliga land. So we really need the 
and has uh, uh, has handled numerous research and development projects. He also has many collaborative projects with Canada, Singapore, and Norway. Sir has been members of various professional bodies like SSA Student Membership by Sustainability Society of America, ATU Membership of American Geophysical Union through Partner Grant Program, and many more. He has received many rewards and recognitions. He has been awarded four scientists by Federation of Indian Chambers of Commerce and University. His third Young Scientist project has been selected to showcase his highlight in the Indian International Science Festival 2019. Selected as resource person in USA sponsored national seminar. He has been elected and represented India. Uh, in UNESCO sponsored training program held at ICTP Italy. Thank you, sir, for your gracious presence. Now I hand over the mic to Dr. Sandra. Uh, thank you very much for the uh, introduction. Uh, respected uh, chairperson, uh, Professor Dakuma, uh, uh, yes, Dr. Mokhtu Mira, and the uh, co of the Department of Sport, and the uh, respected people in my event. Uh, uh, today, uh, I'm going to take some experience uh, in using geophysics as a tool in the study of the research project in natural and academic uh, industrial uh, studies. Uh, so I will try to make my presentation very short because uh, it is focused of time and this is going to be very basic and very uh, popular type of software. So before going into detail, let us go what is geophysics. So geophysics is the natural science. Uh, that deals with the physics, physical properties and properties of art. That is, so study the physical properties and properties of art, we will use the concept of physics, we will use the concept of mathematics, and the concept of geology. So geophysics is a multidisciplinary subject that is called geology, mathematics, and so, definitely, geophysics is an applied subject. It can be used for a study of earthquakes, tsunamis, and a study of geothermography, physical oceanography, meteorology, hydrology, all in the previous exploration, and how you can study the next engineering project. Here, I'm going to speak to my experience in handling two uh, different projects on and how you can study as a study project. Let us have the first uh, case study. So, as you know, that I think most of you have been aware that government of the to construct uh, India's largest and first uh, alternative river tunnel, uh, uh, as an example from Kofu to Mulikar. However, going completely in Kofu in Kalkata, there are two underneath water uh, river tunnels, but they are very old. So, Less than one million of leg, but this water is going to be around 11 million of leg. So, Government of India has advised us to estimate the site specific response spectrum when for study vision. Now, what is site specific response spectrum? Site specific response spectrum is the maximum displacement that can have with the army. For example, we are supposed to tell consider this building. So, this building is in being position, that is so, based on the so, hydrogen. So, if Arctic occurs, for example, the building with object, this oscillation will be a displacement. So, the response spectrum will give us a maximum displacement with a maximum credible object. So, in our case, we have estimated the, the response spectrum for a maximum credible object of 7.5. That means, for our case, for our tunnel, if an Arctic of 7.5 or more occurs, the tunnel has no any damage. That is, we sustain everything. So, this is the tunnel path from the 
the starting point, which is at the uh, above pool, it is from the stroke of the stroke, and it ends in the here. So, the tail part is around 100 kilometers, and the leg of the tunnel, beneath the above pool, is around uh, 11 kilometers. I hope as this will be the analytic tunnel, so there will be any damage to the biodiversity of the So for this study, we have used several geophysical equipment. Uh, for example, we are using Arctic lamp plants of Arctic Fields, which is a serial current profile. We are using some uh, electric sounding uh, equipment. We are also using some seismometers, some accelerometers, seismometers are instruments that, that can record earthquakes, and accelerometers are systems that can be used to record the ground acceleration. Okay. So, after getting that project, uh, we have loaded our equipment in the port, which is located on the study, and uh, we went to different uh, uh, small, small items of the reef bomb control. So, in the way we visited several uh, islands uh, along with my team and uh, geophysical equipment. Next. And uh, this is how we, we deployed our geophysical equipment after receiving uh, the, uh, the island of which is made up of sand and soils. So we have also installed uh, several uh, seismic stations, uh, seismometer. Uh, two in the northern part of the region of Kutra and two in the southern part of the region of Kutra to record the earthquakes originated in this region of India. So, after, after getting the, uh, from the data, at least we have uh, deployed from uh, deployed in different, uh, different stations or different sites, we have constructed the Side stress response spectrum. I'm not going through the details, but this size stress response spectrum has been constructed so that this the system or the structure is sustained between Arctic of and World War. So we have also determined the uh, CRM chemistry profile. This CRM chemistry profile is very important for a heating code. It is to be used by civil engineering engineer for the construction of the regard. And we also use the method for resistivity study that is so we, we, we apply current to the ground through our, our grid battery. Then we determine the resistivity at different layers of the ground. And by doing those resistivity values, we can have the underneath structure to this convert field. So getting this resistivity value, we can have knowledge for this underneath this ground. So this is my team, two members, which have been uh, have been uh, engaged in this uh, in this work. So the, the next case study is on the geophysical investigation on Bhaktan point law, as you know, the as a uh, uh, point law uh, in the uh, in the uh, well number five of uh, on in the other district. So then, blow occurred on 27th of May 2020, and on 4th June, the oil India Indian declared that the uh, oil is uh, the gas is leaking uncontrollably. And on 9th June, a fire break uh, broke down. It took place. Three uh, firefighters uh, died, and there is a marvelous destruction to the uh, you know. Uh, the eco points, for example, the people who are in the park and Maguri, Maguri, Motapong, Maguri. 
So I think this, this is the video that we all follow. I think we have already seen this. Yeah. Let's go the devices uh, uh go out. The whole function phase were completely found from if the use fire, which is offered on my video. Now, how big it was? So, according to the report, uh, smoke that is produced uh, fire, it was about 50 meters high. And the student research of the uh, condensed or gas was about 4,200 uh, Pascal per square inch. Okay. So, this is a photograph taken by the interpedicate, which is completely burned. So, now with the fire, this is a bunch of parana, which is the hostage, and with the phone, you can see a lot of condensed oil. If you wish, you can look at this. So, now what is draw? We know how the natural gas is extracted. The natural gas is extracted by drilling, but it is from the hard surface. So, the draw condition can be explained uh, from a very basic principle of pressure. So, so when the pressure regulator works fine, but when uh, steam coming out from the pressure, we are controlling it. If somehow if the pressure regulator comes gets removed from the pressure cooker, what happens? The steam gushes out in an So if similar situation occurred in an oil well, we will get going as well as this. While throwing a well, normal operation in green uh green peak and lot of for event, usually the oil and natural gas people they are injecting some kind of mass. Uh, this is uh, four one because they are based on reservoir pressure. These are exerted by existing in the reservoir, and then over pressure should be generated with our pressure. Then it's called moment of pressure. When the reservoir pressure gets higher than the over pressure, you can see in the mass, you can see some oil and gas. So, I think this is the future. This heat situation, if the situation is not controlled, then a blowout condition occurs. Here you can see that the whole column is filled with oil and gas. Now, uh, now, and here, even if uh, what, uh, you know, there are two recorded direct blocks of 55% by the other three blocks, and they were around 25,000. Even you know, in the first month, general and around it, there are lots of blood pressure, there are lots of chemical spray, and the carcass of a of a of a linger elephant is a water condition of water at the time. We can see the protein of condensed oil, and you can see. Which was found there at the time. So, so let's see that at the time they go, you know, can people have obtained that they are talking about the ground hydrogen? So, the government of Assam has advised us to contact some target to report whether they are from the side or the company. Right. So, according to our objective of this call, was to observe the effect of the induced aspect. If you get any sequence of oil or natural gas content, that's why you have done.
So these are some so in order to achieve those uh, objectives, we install uh, different computers as if we need it for uh, uh for the talent project. So we install different computers as they call it both right. And we have we recorded some micro objects, micro objects and objects that could be able to see then then find one. You can see this is a real star indicate the the blue outside and this small circle indicates the micro aspect that is occurred in the heritage. And our our uh, our station would record several events. We saw the specific event. These are events which are originated thousand feet back away from the blue outside. The regional event, the event which are recorded originated the distance within 100 kilometers from the blue outside. Look at it, look at Arctic event, which are originated within uh, 50, meter, 50 kilometers, and the very local event. This very local event are the actual induced Arctic that is originated in the blue out of this. So we have located the detection of those induced Arctic. You can see that both of the Arctic are occurring with the bottom of the bottom of the depth. Compared to what the engineers have been expected. So, what the importance of this work? The importance of this work is that uh, in 2012, there is a uh, same incident has occurred in the Deohar gas field of Pony Pony. What happened? In that case, it has blown out. There is a there CPH of oil and natural gas at different depths. As a result, the whole Deohal gas field was devastated and that was causing a huge economic loss to the oil in the big So, this is a cartoon uh, which shows the natural synthesis of oil and natural gas. We can see this water, uh, sorry, this uh, oil and natural gas are synthesis at different layers of the ground. And uh, in case of water, in case of uh, they have one gas, uh, uh, gas field. This is the case of gas or natural gas. So, for this study, we have uh, we have selected five different types, which are shown by this diamond uh, uh, this, uh, this, uh, uh, structure. We have selected five different sites in a global site. So, for this, we have this very structure. And we conducted several studies. It was called magnetic charging. Again, people can understand what is magnetic charging. We conducted magnetic charging, we conducted electromagnetic charging, we conducted electricity charging. And from our survey, we have concluded that there is any shippage of oil or natural gas that they have because we do not find any abnormal in the shippage of the atmosphere. I am going to the details of those results. So, this is a photograph uh, at here. This photograph has been taken at night at 8 pm. We did not use any external light. Light from the blue was sufficient to conduct our survey. And uh, this is the last time. Last time at, uh, at uh, load and uh, last preparation time at 8 pm. By team member, we have been uh, in support. And I told our honorable for his support. And also, thank you to the Academy for being here at the Broken College for inviting us to this work. And this is my life. Last slide. This photograph was taken on 21st June 2015 at the site. And this photograph was taken on 29th June. So I took this photograph after one month. You can see here in this part of the photograph, there's a low, the low state on uh, cluster. And from the same tree, I observed that there are the parameters of the having of the other parameters of the So 
I find it very interesting uh, uh, line from the diary of the program by Ingrid Brown. Very clear to both, clear to like. It fills up with a fake current and takes up from the field. You have to be prepared for such kind of natural or genuine disaster. So we just keep working. I get to come with my. If you have any questions, you can answer. Thank you. Came out and started your decisions, and one 